Before we get this show on the road, in 2021, I'm going on an to Tanzania to claim Mount Kilimanjaro for the charity Dig Deep. Good lord. It was originally a trip planned for 2020 uh, with my friend Declan, but seeing as Covid happened and uh, the whole thing had to be moved back another year, so I decided, right, I need a new challenge this year because well, I've completed education, uh, hopefully I'll have a degree soon. Why not just try and make as much money as possible for charity? I've basically got two mountains here. Uh, I've got to raise £2,600 by uh, next week, next year. So we've got about 53 weeks uh, to push for a target of £2,600. So the link is in the description. If anyone could find it in their heart to donate, that would be fantastic. I would... Uh, help out a lot, even even one pound. Like I, I don't mind just anything to just help me get towards my target. I would really appreciate that. And yeah, I'm gonna be claiming Mount Kilimanjaro, which is absolutely massive. So yeah, I'm really looking forward to that. And uh, without any further ado, let's get into the video. <laughs> Ah, the sweet sound of the Europa League theme tune. Hey guys, Gogsy here and welcome back to a brand new video on the channel today. It's a bit of everything. This is a sort of roundup of news uh, around Motherwell over the last week or so. So we've recently had two kits dropped for 2021 season. And uh, yeah, we're going to have a look at them. Here is the home kit. Uh, it's a sort of flashback to the 1950s cup winning side uh, when Motherwell went on to win the Scottish Cup and the League Cup within two or three seasons. We were really good back then. I mean, our goalkeeper could throw the ball as far as Kilmarnock. That's one for the old guys. But uh, yeah, anyway, uh, I really like this kit. Uh, I love the fact that uh, the sort of bar across the middle stretches onto the sleeves as well. It reminds me of the time when uh, Motherwell had a team on the Masters football when it was broadcast on Sky Sports. Like for example, you'd you'd have like a group of like four from each region. Then the winner of each region would go on to play in like the national final. So uh, I'm pretty sure we beat who was it? Uh, it was Rangers Celtic, and. I can't remember the other team that was in it. It might have been Dundee United. Motherwell won it, and they went on to, unfortunately, get knocked out by Man United. That's by the by. We're off on a tangent already. But, uh, yeah, I really like the kit. Um, I can't wait to uh, watch it behind closed doors uh, on the live stream. Also, the away kit I'm a massive fan of. Blue, I've, I have I said, like, about half an hour before uh, the kit was released, I said to the, the boys in my group chat, uh, I'm a massive fan of Motherwell Blue kits because it's a bit of tradition. Motherwell used to play in blue. And, uh, yeah, I can't wait to uh, get one of those because I I'm actually thinking of getting uh, both Motherwell kits uh, this year. Uh, and, uh, yeah, I'll be wearing them while I watch us play Kilmarnock behind closed doors. Those are the kits. Uh, now we're going to swiftly move on. Uh, I don't think there's much else to uh, talk about the kits. Everyone should know this already, but I'm going to say this again. Any Motherwell fan that has purchased a season ticket already for the forthcoming season will be able to watch the matches that are behind closed doors at Far Park uh, on a stream. Uh, the club's going to stream it out and we'll all get a link. Hey, I mean, that's what should be happening anyway because we've already put in our hard-earned cash towards... Uh, you know, a season ticket. Motherwell have already been busy in the transfer window. We have signed Jordan White from Inverness, uh, who was the top goal scorer there for two years, and he also helped uh, Inverness get to Hamden semi-final in the same team as Liam Polworth. Uh, so, hopefully, he's going to carry on his goal-scoring form, get some goals, and uh, hopefully improve on his record. Uh, and I'm really looking forward to see him get... A few goals under his belt. Also, we've signed Ricky Lamy from Livingston, the centre half, or newspapers proclaimed him as a left back. Uh, and I've actually got an exclusive interview with him. Uh, so here is a wee uh, snippet of what you can expect on the podcast. 
I've always fancied going abroad and maybe seeing um, a Barca or a Madrid um, at the Bernabeu or the New Camp, but I did manage to see uh, Messi in the flesh, eyes, so I don't think it gets much better than that. Hold on a sec. My mum's my just answered the phone, so she's speaking a bit loud. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, mum. Here at Gogs in 89 Productions, we only expect the worst. <laughs> <laughs> How dare she answer the phone, eh? I know. <laughs> How rude. Links in the description, and please do go over and subscribe to the new channel. I will be bringing exclusive professional footballer interviews every week, so do not miss out on that. And, of course, I will be posting a couple of highlights onto this channel just to tease the views out. And, uh, yeah, I'm re really looking forward to getting this started. I've already edited the interview. It will be up on Sunday. And, yeah, guys, I'm pretty sure that's all I really need to cover at the moment. Uh, I'm going to hopefully get a couple more interviews for you guys to watch uh, in the near future. And we'll be back very soon. But uh, as of right now, those are the updates I think that you should know most. Especially the fact that I'm climbing Mount Kilimanjaro for charity. Uh, I'm really looking forward to it, as I've said. And I will keep pestering you. I'll keep saying on every video. By the way, I'm climbing Mount Kilimanjaro next year. So if, if, if anyone could find it in their heart to donate, that would be fantastic. And uh, yeah, anyway guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. It was only a short one today. But if you do want to see any more content from me, uh, click down below. There's the More Gogsy channel where I upload football manager content every day right now. I'm really enjoying it. Uh, and of course, subscribe to the Gog Pod in which I will have weekly interviews with professional footballers. Anyway, guys, please leave a like down below if you want more of this snazzy content. Subscribe if you're new. I'm Gogsy99. I bet we should. See you later, guys. Take care.